Hi there and assalamu alaikum. Before we talk about today's video, allow me to announce that ever since I started my YouTube journey around three months ago, I've been publishing videos every single day. However, now I'll be doing so three times a week, so it's going to be every Sunday, Wednesday and Friday, as there are other pressing matters that need my attention and time. Okay, so today's video is all about patch tool in Photoshop, so let's get started. You'll find the patch tool hiding under the spot healing brush tool. Spot healing brush and the healing brush tools are mostly used for smaller areas and you don't really need to make any selection to use these tools. However, with patch tool you can cover larger areas and you do need to make a selection. So I have this image here that we'll use for demonstration. Now, since I'm just demonstrating this, I don't really need another layer, but I'd always suggest you to create a new layer and work on that, or drag the original layer to the create a new layer button to duplicate this layer, and then hide the original layer and work on the duplicate one. Let's zoom into this human here. We're going to remove his existence from this image, so ensure that the source is selected from the toolbar on top and grab the patch tool and make a selection around the area you want to remove and then move your selection to the area that looks the closest to the area you have selected. So it tells you that we use source option when we want to remove the source and supplant it with a similar pattern or texture or area or whatever you call it. A lot of times you'll find that the selection you've replaced your source with doesn't really blend well and leaves certain anomalies, so worry not, select just that portion once again and patch it up again and it will look perfect now. Alright, let's try this small spot here, whatever it is, and then move the selection to find a similar pattern and it's gone. Let me tell you here that you don't necessarily need the patch selection tool. You can pick any other selection tool as well to make your selection and then pick the patch tool and do your patchwork. So let's say we select the elliptical marquee tool and make a circle on this muddy thing. And then I'm going to pick the patch tool and move it to do my patchwork. And it's gone. Simple, isn't it? And let's make the necessary correction here so that the blend looks believable. All right, so let's move to destination and select destination option from the toolbar above. And let's say we want this little guy in place of what we just removed from the image. So I'm going to just make my selection and move it to copy it to the area I want. It's much like an advanced copy paste. I say advanced because it does the blending with the area it is moved to, something you won't find with copy paste option. All right, so let's move to this image. Now, here we want to remove this lady who's perhaps busy with some sort of yoga, so let's give her some rest. Before we begin, please ensure that the source option is selected from the toolbar above as we don't want another lady standing next to her. And then with the patch tool selected, just make your selection and move it to a similar area. Be wary of the lines in the back because if you're not careful, see what happens. So you might want to try to match the lines as you move your selection. Remember, proper alignment is always necessary for it to look believable. And then, much like earlier, remove any anomalies by selecting and patching again and it will look just fine. Now let's move to our third image. In here we have this little guy in need of a friend, so let's give him one. Let's select the destination option from the toolbar above and uh, make your selection. Remember when you're making your selection that has a shadow in it, you need to include the shadow as well. Because you can't be making another sample without the shadow. It's going to turn into a horror story then. So once the selection is made, move it to the appropriate place and you see how it blends perfectly as if there are actually two crabs and not one. That brings us to our last image. Here we'll try to remove the manhole cover. So let's zoom in and uh, have the source option selected and make the selection. 
we didn't get it right so let's select again and patch with some other similar area whenever you face an issue like this try to patch it again and it should be just fine also I'm gonna insert a link to these images in the description so if you want you can practice along alright so that concludes our session today I hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please like share and subscribe to my channel until we meet again, goodbye and thanks for watching.